Yo, what's good guys? Rollo, aka Dunkster Nice, back again with another pickup video. Well, first pickup video of 2017. I got this guy right here. Let's jump right into it. So this past weekend, I was actually at the Shilk Show. I did a vlog about that. I'll put it up below on this card. Doot doot and one down below in the description. I was down at the Silk Show. Basically, the Silk Show is like a trade show with a lot of clothing, shoes. There's an Asian American Expo. There was a cause anime and all that kind of things. Real good stuff there, along with good food. Ended up having this. The sneaker show was called Step. I've never heard of the Silk Show. I was invited down there. Ace and Derek were down there displaying. They asked me to join them, and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So again, shout out to Rocky for having us down there. But I'm here to talk about my very first pickup of 2017, which is this box right here. Yep, so without further ado, so thanks to the people at Band LA, I was able to get these guys right here. It is none other than NMD R1 Bape, other known as Bape NMDs. Now, before I get into the shoes, actually, I just want to put it out there that I've always been into Bape. Bape's always been tight to me. I'm pretty sure someone's going to comment down below saying, oh, those are hype. Those aren't worth whatever the resale value is. You're a hype beast. You know, I'm pretty sure I'm expecting that down in the comments, which, you know, is a given. But 10 years ago, I couldn't afford Bape and it was really expensive. Fast forward 10 years now, I'm able to make a little bit more money and afford basically Bape. First time I saw the shoe, I was like, yo, these are super sick, but I knew there was gonna be a lot of hype around them and the resale value was gonna be, man, who knows? But let's jump right into the shoes. So here they are, man, these are super sick. This is basically just the overall look of how the shoe looks like. I'm pretty sure you guys seen a lot of videos on them. Here's the, here's a tag for them. This is basically the other side of the shoe. Again, such a super sick collaboration they did with Adidas. Now I did want to mention for those who actually don't a pair of Adidas NMDs. Let me just take these out. They actually don't have any insoles. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but basically NMDs, they really just don't have any insoles. But this is how the insoles look like. This material right here, if you guys have never seen them in person or actually felt them, this is pretty much like a nylon type material. Feels really nice. This material here, where the laces hold at, it's pretty much, it's pretty thin, but overall easily to be moved around. The back tabs that you guys see here, just pretty much as a bathing ape. Overall, just a super sick collaboration that they did with Adidas. When Adidas first introduced that boost material, the first pair I actually got with the boost material were Adidas Pure Boost. I actually remember walking past my Foot Locker, trying to figure out like, yo, what material is that on the midsole? Has the same spongy-like material. Very similar to the NMDs, they don't really have an insole, just pretty much you can just see the boost material on the inside. Back in 2014, this is the first time I actually saw and I was like, yo, those look very interesting. What are these like styrofoam type shoes that Adidas have? And I was like, hmm, let me go try them on. And they changed my mind about comfort in shoes. This material that I always tell people, if you want comfort shoes, get the Pure Boost. And if you can't get the Pure Boost, you pretty much get the Ultra Boost. Now the Ultra Boost came out with the following year with the same material, the same boost, and if I were to compare the Ultra Boost with the Pure Boost, I would actually have to go with the Pure Boost. I don't know if it's because I wore these pretty much every day or every other day compared to the Ultra Boost, but in terms of comfortability wise, the Pure Boost have the most comfortability over the Ultra Boost. Maybe I'm just saying that because I wore these and they've been broken into compared to my Ultra Boost. The Ultra Boost do have almost very similar comfortability wise and you know, it's a shoe that you can't go wrong. Basically, if you're a Nike bias head and a lot of times you hear people say, I heard Ultra Boosts are pretty comfortable, it's lived up to that hype and I'll tell you that right now. Coming from a guy that has, you know, a lot of Nikes and Jordans, I'll tell you this right now, Ultra Boost or that boost material in general lives up to that hype. The Adidas did come out with the ZX Flux, but wasn't as comfortable as the Pure Boost or Ultra Boost, I'll tell you that. Now, one question I usually end up getting is how comfortable are these? Now, if we were to compare with another shoe, comparing with the V1s along with the NMDs, they're about the same in terms of comfort. They're about the same. If you were to ask me the comfortability wise with the V1s compared to V2s, the V2s win. They're more comfortable than the V1s. Basic enemies are just pretty much like the V1s. So if you're going comfortability wise, Ultra Boost V2s are basically in that same category. That's my take on comfortability wise, again, with the NMDs, the V1s, Ultra Boost, Pure Boost, V2s, that boost material. My pick would obviously be the Pure Boost, and if you can't get the Pure Boost, 
get the ultra boost because those are really comfortable these right here are more for lifestyle looks and this is one shoe i wanted to get in 2060 but unfortunately i didn't so when 2017 came around i said hey you know what i wanted these to be my very first pickup and the reason being is basically self-control i think i remember i picked up in 2013 was close to 100 pairs the following year of 2014 and i'm picking about 80 something pairs 2015 was about the same about 70 to 80 pairs of shoes and in 2016 I ended up picking about 60 plus pairs so for 2017 my goal is basically to buy less which probably will happen probably not who knows but I wanted these to be my first pickup because I didn't end up getting them last year I did however wanted to go into Bape and why I like them I've always liked the designs the way they look if you see this camo you would already know I've always liked Bape this is basically a bait magazine I got back in 2006. And this was basically back in 2006. It's like a catalog of their lookbook. They're the Teriyaki Boys. Here they are again. Here's their babes. This was another book that I'm borrowing currently right now from my homie Benson from the Imaginary Zebra. This book basically has everything that when Babe started all the way to 2011 is when his book I believe got published. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is how thick the book is. There was three different other colors. There's obviously the green camo, the blue one, and the pink. When they did their collab with Pepsi, Most Def, Kanye. Still want these babes. Here's a photo of Jay-Z. Takashiro Mirakami. Takashiro Mirakami is basically a artist. You guys probably know him from his artwork from the graduation album with the teddy bear, the purple and all those kind of things. Yeah, he's actually, he's the one who did those. Back 10 years ago, I couldn't really afford this. And now that I make a little bit more money, I can. And I've always wanted Bape, so that's that. So, first pickup of 2017 are the Bape NMDs. Again, I got a shout out Band LA for hooking me up while I was down at LA in the Stoke Show. Thanks again, Band LA for the Bape NMDs. I really appreciate it. So yeah, this is my first pickup of 2017, the Bape NMDs. Let me know what your favorite boost material shoe down below in the comment section. I always like reading down the comments that you guys put down there. Or if you have any questions regarding the boost material, true to size, comfortability, or any of that stuff, I always like reading those comments. And if you haven't yet, please hit that thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me as well as subscribing to this channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again, guys. And as always, it's gonna be good.